Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Scrappity Doodle. Um, today I wanted to show you another um, toilet paper mini album that I've made as a, a gift for a friend of ours. Um, I can't tell you the name of the paper that I've used because it's an unbranded name that I just found in a, a local shop here, but it's um, got very pretty designs on it. The flower is a Tim's, Tim Holtz um, grunge rose as he shows on how to make on his tutorial and it was just um, brown um, packing paper that came with the parcel and I mod podged it to give it a bit of substance and then um, distressed it with um, Tim Holtz distress inks and put stickles on it. Um, I made a couple of stick pins uh, to go in there and a feather. Um, I found these vintage dome stickers um, and the girl it's for, her name is Dominique, so um, I incorporated her name in it. Um, here I've put plenty of fibres to make it look pretty and I've bound it with um, jute string. Um, down the bottom here um, I've put um, metallic lace sticker I suppose that's the best way to explain it um, it was in a lighter gold colour but I've made it darker with um, distress ink and here I've run a line of gold pearls up through it and as it's so fat um, I've tied it with a lace bow now the trick is can I get this undone with one hand I'm having to film this on my iPod because um, I'm running out of room on my computer so I can't, haven't got enough room to edit any videos at the moment. Okay, um, the first page has a butterfly die cut from, the die is Marianne's Creatables, one of her butterflies. Um, I've distressed it again with Tim Holtz inks and put a few um, rhinestones down the middle and then it has a little tag um, for photo spot or journaling. Um, the next page has again um, the trellis that I made with the Martha Stewart punch. Um, I've wound some I Am Roses, the little mini roses, through the trellis and put some um, pom-pom trim along the bottom um, and then it has four tags in um, each that I've stamped with a sentiment and this was done with a little um, tiny box of mini stamps that I got from the range. Um, I think it was 99 pence which um, was very cheap and I think I'll be using them a lot because I really like them. So I put dream, uh, laugh, believe and love on there. Um, and they haven't got anything on the back so um, she can put a photo on there if she wants to. On the next page I've um, put a ribbon rose that I made um, out of olive green ribbon and a little photo frame that she can slip a photograph underneath and some mini ribbon roses along the edge. Um, I stained the frame with olive vine glimmer mist and there's a I am roses um, skeleton leaf there. I really love this paper with all the dragonflies on it, I think it's so pretty. Um, this page, again I've carried on with the olive green colour scheme. Um, there's a photo mat here, again um, I believe this is another one of Marianne Creatables dies. I'm not sure. I'll write it down the bottom. Um, and here is a Tim Holtz flourish die die cut, and then Mod Podge to give it some more strength. And the daisies I made using the X cut uh, quilling die system. I quite like those. Um, each of the um, pages has a pocket as well um, which I've put a tag in and 
can be um, our photos put along there. The next page I've gone with the burgundy um, colour scheme as part of the paper has burgundy in. Um, I made this flower out of some lace that I had and put a little rhinestone and another little bit of lace in the middle. Um, this little pocket opens up, it's held down with velcro and inside um, she can put photos and some on the back. And then it just folds up again and closes with a velcro. And I put a little bit of uh, a bling brag that is stuck on there. Um, this page again is a bit of burgundy lace, the same lace as I made the flower with. Um, a Tim Holtz die cut bird with um, a real bird's feather that again I found over the fields on our dog walks. Um, the butterfly is an X cut butterfly with some green pearl um, beads and a, a bit of gold wire for an antennae. I again I mod podged it for strength, sprayed it with the um, olive vine glimmer mist and then rubbed some um, rub and buff on it to give it a bit of a goldy sheen. And again the same with um, the photo mat. I've put stickles around the edge and there are some on the middle to give it that texture and then I rubbed it with rub and buff and a journaling spot on the back for that one. Uh, the next page I've again used a Martha Stewart punch um, I put a bit of pearl trim along the bottom, a couple of pearl brads that I cut the back off and stuck on um, just a photo mat that I've distressed to give it a bit of um, difference in the coloration of it and uh, that just slots in behind.